Welcome to Second Tech, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The Africa Aerospace and Defence 2018 exhibition was held at the Waterkloof Air Force Base in Pretoria last week. Rebecca Campbell gives us some insight into the highlights of this year's event. Hi Rebecca. In his opening address, President Cyril Ramaphosa mentioned that government wanted to modernise defence funding. How does it plan to do that? Well, what he said in his speech was that uh, looking at uh, the possibility of economic exploiting assets held by the Defence Force as well as improving efficiencies uh, in the operation of the organisation. Uh, now, unfortunately, he was exceedingly vague. He gave no clue as to what he actually meant by this comment of uh, exploiting economically exploiting the assets held by the Defence Force. What we do know is that the um, Chief Executive Officer of Arms Corps, which is the, um, the Defence Procurement Agency, which falls uh, under the Department of Defence, uh, Kevin uh, Wakeford, has been arguing for some time that there are assets the Defence Force has, but no longer needs, that could be sold or leased out uh, uh, to generate money, provided that it was guaranteed that those funds went to the defence budget and did not just go straight into the general um, pot of the fiscus. And it looks like um, this argument has caught President Ramaphosa's ear. Now, possible options would be the sale of land, uh, the sale or lease of property no longer used, because the Defence Force today is a lot smaller than it was uh, 25 years ago. Uh, perhaps the leasing out of certain facilities that are underutilised. Uh, we don't know. These are the kind of things that are possible. But at the moment, it's just a vague indication that uh, Mr. Wakeford's uh, arguments are being looked at. How did this year's event compare to previous years? I have to say it was the quietest Africa Aerospace and Defence show I've ever been to. I'm talking about the trade days, of course. Those are the days of interest to us. I've no doubt the public days were full. But business is not particularly interested in, in the public days unless you're selling hot dogs at the show. Now, virtually all the big players were there. And virtually all of them had smaller displays, smaller uh, booths, sm smaller uh, chalets than previously. Uh, a couple of uh, players actually had chalets, but no uh, displays in the, in the hangars. Um, I do know that, uh, because I was told directly by Saab, that they were very happy with the quality and number of people who came to their briefings and to the chalet for uh, meetings. And I have heard that uh, Airbus was also very happy with the number and level of meetings they also had at their chalet. So that does not necessarily translate out that uh, all the exhibitors were disappointed. But in terms of, of visitors, it looked down. Uh, in terms of the uh, many of the big players, the presence was smaller. On the other hand, uh, the space was taken up. Uh, we had uh, significant displays uh, by uh, a couple of Arab countries. The Turkey was huge. Uh, they took up a lot of space. Um, but one overall did have the feeling it was quieter than, than previously. And I saw fewer high-level foreign delegations at the show. But, of course, all this is my personal um, 
impressions, I have not seen any statistics from the show organizers yet. What were some of the other highlights of this year's exhibition? I think the big news at the show came from Saudi Arabia, from the Saudi Arabian Military Industries, S-A-M-I, or SAMI. They uh, told us uh, that they are very interested in taking shareholdings in South African defense companies and in funding joint research and development programs in the defense sector with the South African industry. SAMI has an objective of becoming one of the world's top 25 defense companies by 2035, if I remember correctly. And in return for uh, South Africa allowing South African companies selling uh, part of their equity to SAMI and uh, agreeing to joint uh, research development programs, they get status of preferred bidder uh, in the Saudi Arabian defense markets for Saudi Arabian defense projects. Now this is huge because Saudi Arabia is the second biggest defense importer in the world, both in terms of products and services. And the uh, SAMI is interested, is holding negotiations with the South African government about cooperation with the NEL. They indicated they'd be interested in taking a shareholding in the NEL or one or other of its subsidiary units. But they are also in negotiations with South African private sector defense companies on the matter of, of possible shareholding, possible um, joint projects. Now, SAMI is already doing deals uh, with other companies from around the world. So it is a major opportunity for the South African defense industry. But of course, such an alignment does have foreign policy implications. So the government has to bear all factors in mind in this regard. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.